mustache. I never thought I'd have a mustache, man. My dad had one the whole time I was growing up. I hated mustaches. It started like everything. It started it as a joke. I had this kind of beard and I'm like, screw it, I'm gonna shave a mustache. It felt wrong in the beginning, but that's because I had no idea how, what I was doing. Like in the 90s, when you started wearing baggy pants, you're like, these are ridiculous. But Rodney Mullen wears them. The second you have a mustache, every every other person is like, got a mustache story. It's like, oh, you skate? Dude, I used to skate. Same deal with mustache. My dad had a mustache. I loved him. Oh my God, can I live with it? Then it's like, you gotta join the, the beard club, dude. So I joined the beard club in Los Angeles called the Bristly Chaps of Los Angeles. Right off the bat, they're like, you're coming to Alaska with us, right? And I'm all, I don't even know you guys. And I'm all, okay, Anchorage, Alaska. All right, dude, I'll grow it out and, and we'll go. By the time like six, eight months had passed and it was time to go and I'd been like growing it, I had so much invested in it by then. I'm like, well, this is more than just a trip to Alaska. Like, I'm gonna try and fucking win. Long story short, sit there all day in the like convention center and all these dudes walk the, the runway and they like pose for the judges. It's really like regal and legit. Made it to the finals. Second place. They called my name and I freaked out and I'm like, no way. Like, I felt like I was kind of stealing something from them because this is like, I'm not a lifer, you know? I'm, I'm, I just grew this like a year ago. I got more recognition for this thing than I ever did in skating. The day of the thing, the contest, whatever, I was on CNN, I was on TMZ. The LA Times did a week long profile on me and I'm all like, this is like a skate tour, you know? You got like Noretko following you around being like, you got like, okay, I gotta watch what I say because it's, it's going in the mag, you know? like. We were in San Francisco, it was the first label tour ever. He hadn't even been born yet. <laughs> Jub, who's like this really straight edge vegan, like straight dude who like won't look at another girl because his girlfriend, that was Jub. You love him because he's just, he's that guy. We were in San Francisco and Pat Smith was like, talk to that fat chick. She wasn't really that fat, but whatever, fat's fat. On the cheerleading squad, she was the fat chick on the cheerleading squad. Like, she could still make the squad, but she's obviously fat. So I go talk to her and she like ends up coming back to the hotel room and getting naked and stuff and Jub and I are sharing a room and I just thought it'd be great because he's so like kind of square. I'm like, go, go try to make out with Jub to her and she's like naked like, Jubby, come hang out, Jub. And he was like freaking out and he's like, I can't deal with this. Like I can't have naked chicks near me. And he runs out of the room and she's chasing him down the hallway naked. She's naked like, I love you, Jub. We all just got on the team and kind of were just meeting each other and I'm like, let's stir it up. This is going to be hilarious. Getting this dude to fucking be there on time, like we're all ready to go and then where's Rags? And he just disappeared and he do it on purpose to fuck everybody up. Our team manager rented us a hotel room next door to the airport so we'd all be there and get on the plane in the morning. Right before it's time to like, let's go, he's like, I need to go to Subway. And he, <laughs> he like leaves the room with his, and his bags everywhere. All right, fuck it, I'll pack his bag for him, put it in the van. Where's Rags? Where's Rags? I'm like, is that Subway? Is that Subway? Let's go get him, pick him up, and get to the airport. And on purpose, he's like, I don't have my ID. He's like, yes, you fucking do. Like anything he could do to like not get on the plane. You were torturing all of us, man. <laughs> it, it all started out with you sleeping with Rags. You wouldn't get out of oh, bed yeah, with her, yeah, and you made so. us all sit in the van while you had sex with her. Yeah, dude, we're all sitting outside, and we're like, where is he? Let's go, let's go, let's go, and he won't come. Of course, half of us are like, dude, he's getting laid. Like, let him be. <laughs> My whole life, I've caught shit for that. <laughs> he didn't have any problem with any woman. Yeah. I was more of like, fuck that. Like, I don't think you ever had a problem because in Tampa, he was no. rolling one no. girl in and carrying the thing. <laughs> it's like when you're on tour, you're.